suppose a coin is tossed at random now the possible outcomes can be head or a tail so the total outcome is 2 the sample space denoted as s is equal to h comma t so the probability for head is equal to number of head events divided by the sample space which comes out to be half similarly probability of getting a tail is also half let's consider the event of throwing a dice the number of faces on the dice is equal to 6 the numbers appearing on the faces are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so the total number of events is equal to the sample space which is denoted by s and it contains 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now the probability of each number is probability of 1 equals to probability of 2 equals to probability of 3 similarly up to probability of 6 which comes out to be equal to 1 by 6 when a dice is thrown 30 times then on an average every digit on the dice will come 5 times as you can see it from the visual now for a dice there are 6 equally possible outcomes we say each of 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 has 1 sixth probability the actual number of times each digit comes can be other than 5 but theoretically it is taken to be 5 Note that the previous example, this one and the ones to follow are examples of simple events. Events having only one sample point of a sample space are called simple events. We will be reading about them in detail later in this chapter. Let's consider an example. Suppose that a basket contains four red balls and one blue ball and you have to draw a ball without looking at the basket. What are the outcomes? Are the outcomes of a red ball and a blue ball equally likely? Red balls are denoted by R and blue balls are denoted by B. The outcomes are R1 R2, R3, R4 and B. So the total number of outcomes equals 5. Now the probability for a red ball equals number of trials for red ball divided by the total number of trials. So the probability of getting a red ball comes out to be 4 by 5. Similarly the probability for a blue ball equals to 1 by 5. Note that the outcomes are called equally likely events when we have no reason to believe that one is more likely to occur than the other. In other words, they have equal chance probability to occur. You would have noted that in this example, probability of R is greater than probability of B. So clearly they are not equally likely events. Come, now let's see an example of equally likely events. Let's take another example. A basket contains a red ball a blue ball and a yellow ball all the balls being of the same size Nandan takes out a ball from the bag without looking into it then what is the probability that he takes out the red ball or the blue ball or 
the yellow ball. Let's take the solution. When one ball is drawn from the basket, then total number of possible outcomes is 3. Now probability of red, blue and yellow are probability of red equals number of red balls divided by total outcomes which is equal to 1 by 3. Similarly, the probability of getting blue ball is also 1 by 3 and again 1 by 3 for yellow ball as well. Therefore, adding all the three probabilities that is probability of getting yellow ball plus probability of getting red ball plus probability of getting blue ball. We get the total as 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 which is equal to 3 by 3 and it is equal to 1.